face it, webheads. Organizing your comics is not the funnest thing in the world. But you know what? We have to do it anyway. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're doing a little bit of a different type of video. And guys, what I want to know is... How do you organize your comic books? There's all kinds of different methods out there, I'm sure, and you have all your certain ways, and I want to hear that in the comments below. And while you're putting down your comments, we're going to take a little tour of spider slayers layer here and we're gonna see how i organize my comic books so stick around guys and find out how you can win my road to 10k x-man giveaway at the end of this video so let's go take a walk shall we all right guys so here we go we're in the entry level stages of spider slayers lair so as time goes along here i'm going to do a more detailed room tour but i just wanted to show you some of the stuff i have you get to see some of the pops you know here we get to see some of my diamond select statues that i've been collecting you know some trades you get to see all that and if you guys haven't known by now i do all my filming in my garage and my comics are stored in my garage and a lot of you may be like oh my god mike that's just a big no-no but I bag and board every single comic as soon as I get them after I show them off in the hall. And they go right, most of them go right in the box after the week is done. And my most prized comics are actually inside. So here we have the setup, the YouTube setup, as you guys can see. I'm good to see some more of my diamond select statues here. My most recent Venom that I got. Kind of the evolution of our spider characters here. Um, you get to see my little ring light, the seat, and you get to see more stuff. And just here's the overall large view of everything if you were looking from afar. So that's everything right there. All right. So let's get back to, you know, the whole organization of the comics thing. You can see these are all my comics here, right? A lot of boxes. There's also quite a few comics right here too. These are my long boxes and we get to see there's some Marvel and then this whole thing is an amazing Spider-Man long box here. So how do I organize my comics? Now I know everybody does it differently, but you can see all my boxes are labeled. I even have some boxes that are those new fancy boxes that you get, right? So when it comes to indie, it's pretty straightforward, right? I organize it just by indie and even by image, I'll even put sometimes and I'll put the year on the box. So I know when the comics came out that are mostly in that particular box. As you can see, I still have some organization to do when it comes to the independent comics. Most of the DC are, are put away and almost all my Marvel comics are put away. I just have a few of the classics that I got to put away here. So here's how we organize it, okay? We can get to see DC Comics 2019. Now, unfortunately for me, I tend to overfill, overfill my boxes a little bit too much, which I shouldn't do, and I'm gonna try to eliminate that. Uh, but you get to see 2021 DC Comics as well here. Uh, Batman has its own box because there's so many flipping Batman comics, Batman needs to have his own box. So let's go in some of these boxes, okay? X-Men's another example. There's so many X-Men comics that it has to have its own box. So this is how I store it. So we get to see all the X-Men comics. Now, I've been trying to put events together, if that makes sense, even if they're out of order from the collection of the series. But this is what I did with Ten of Swords, at least when it comes to X-Men books. So you get to see all the the uh, Ten of Swords in here, and you get to see how many of those books there were. I mean, look at that, that is a big stack. So we get to see all that, and then you got Cable, Children of the Atom, Excalibur, Hellion. So you get to see, that's how I do it. I put my books in alphabetical order. That's how I do most of the collections. All right, here we get to see another X-Men box. I had to label it because it was Guardians of Gal Galaxy. Lame, I know, but here's the example of kind of overfilling my box. You can't really see the first few issues in there. That's a no-no. I wouldn't suggest that. 
Same thing here with X-Men Gold. That thing is chock full, but I don't think there's a single issue in there that's worth a value. It's just kind of reader copies and, and stuff like that, right? So we get to see here, I have boxes that say classics. So classic comics, classic comics. I have three boxes full of those. And we get to see when you open it up, I have some of these, you know, nostalgic comics. West Coast Avengers. Um, here we get to see some Superman. We get some uh, Daredevil Black with Black Widow. Um, Incredible Hulk, Red Sonja, Conan, Invincible Iron Man. Got some Thor in here, Infinity Gauntlet, the New Mutants. So we have, you know, Wonder Woman, Georgie's Perez. So Strange Tales Warlock. So we got a little bit of everything in there when you get to see that. And then when it comes to like my Marvel books, right? When it comes to the normal everyday stuff, this is what I do here, okay? So I, I collect a bunch of different series and I just put them in alphabetical order. Unfortunately, I don't have dividers, right? So that kind of sucks, but that would take so much work to do that. That's ultra organized, ultra organized. So we get to see that I do that there. And once a box fills up, then I just continue doing the same thing with the next box. I don't kind of rearrange the series to fit all one box, if that makes sense. I just, I'm like, okay, if a box is full, I'll start a new one and I'll put that one in alphabetical order. Um, here we have Absolute Carnage. So Absolute Carnage box has all spider related stories in them. So as you get to see, we have uh, Black Cat in here, right? Nice cover here by Art Germ, one of the best. And then you get to see all the Black Cat. Then Spider-Man, the Black Cat Strikes, the Amazing Mary Jane, uh, the entire Venom run is all in here. This probably takes up most of the box, as you get to see. So we have that whole run in here, right? Now, any of the high-dollar value comics I have, like Chew Issue 1, Amazing Spider-Man Issue 300, um, Saga Issue 1, uh, Ultimate Fallout, first appearance of Miles, uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man, I have in a separate little box in my house. And then, obviously, when it comes here to the Amazing Spider-Man, I have Spider-Man, Nick Spencer's entire run in this box as of right now. So we get to see I have all of these books here, right? So that's his entire run there. Unfortunately, nothing really happens in the entire run. <laughs> All right, and then here we'll go down and we have my Uncanny X-Men box, right? So we have all that stuff in there. So see, same thing. This one's a little bit overfilled where you can't really see, but that's my entire Uncanny X-Men run. So that's basically how I organize everything. I don't like alternate the issues. I know some people like kind of go like this and then flip it like that. That's just not me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see here now if you go through... I got 90s Marvel Comics, um, Marvel Now, more DC on the bottom. So that's all, that's pretty much how I organize everything. Once a box fills up, I start a new box again. So yeah, that's about it guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And what I wanna know in the comments below to get you entered into that Road to 10K X-Men giveaway is how do you organize your comic books? Or do they just lie all over the floor and you don't do anything with them for months and months because it's definitely a chore to do all that stuff, right guys? So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little tour and how I organize everything here. And until next time everyone, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon everyone. Take care, peace.